We've grown up with them, heard them spun so many times that they just had to be true. But just because these are popular theories doesn't mean that these 10 myths are true. For this installment of Top 10 Archive, we're going to dive into 10 myths that are both extremely popular and irrefutably untrue. Number 10. Daddy Long Legs Are the Most Venomous Spider With how often these creepy crawlies are seen amongst households, one would think that people would be less receptive to the daddy long leg if they posed any threat. The myth goes on to say that daddy long legs are the most venomous spiders in the world, but their fangs are not long enough to penetrate human skin. Though there are two different species penned daddy long leg, neither one has been known to be any threat to humans, and only one is actually a spider. In fact, the common daddy long leg with the pill-shaped body, the opilionids, is neither a spider nor equipped with fangs or venom glands. The falsids, or the daddy long leg spider, does have fangs, but as Mythbusters Jamie and Adam were able to prove on an episode in 2004, the venom proves to be no more than a nuisance that causes mild burning. Number 9. Sharks Don't Get Cancer Subject of the 1999 film Deep Blue Sea, it was once believed that sharks were incapable of contracting cancer. The basis of this myth can be rooted in the sale of supplements, specifically shark cartilage, that are used to help cure cancer. Truth be told, scientists have known for over 150 years that sharks are susceptible to the disease, but despite recent cases where tumors have been documented on these deep-sea predators, there are still those willing to stick to popular myths to earn a buck. Number 8. Pit Bulls Have Lockjaw There are plenty of myths regarding pit bulls, including their genetic ferociousness, but there was a time when people thought that these canines were equipped with a jaw that literally locked into place. Although the pit bull's bite is strong enough to lead one to believe that it's not letting go because it can't, the truth of the matter is that a pit bull will let go of what's between its and its mandibles when it wishes to. Although the breed is known to have one of the strongest bites out of the canine family, when it comes to jaw structure, pit bulls don't have a locking mechanism that will keep their jaw in place. Number 7. Irregardless is not a word. English majors may cringe when people use irregardless. But according to Merriam-Webster and the early 20th century, it definitely does exist. Its use may have fizzled out quite a bit since, but irregardless still exists today, though many use it incorrectly as a direct substitute of regardless. One popular definition has irregardless meaning in regard to, and has the prefix ir and suffix less, creating a double negative and thus canceling out one another. Number 6. The Coriolis Effect Changes Direction of Water Drainage The Coriolis Effect may be real, but it having any bearing on the direction your toilet flushes most certainly is not. The phenomenon does affect the direction in which hurricanes spin, but its effect on something as small in scale as a toilet bowl or a bathtub is simply non-existent. Regardless of northern or southern hemispheres, your water is going to drain dependent on the shape and any irregularities in the toilet bowl or bathtub itself. Number 5. Chewing gum stays in the human body for 7 years Although the base used in chewing gum isn't easily broken down, the odds of a piece of gum remaining in the human body for 7 years are dependent on scientific impossibilities or biological anomalies. Eventually, due to the small size of the chewing gum, the substance that can't be broken down will pass through the digestive tract, thus eventually leaving the body long before seven years have passed. That's not to say, though, that excessively swallowing chewing gum is recommended. Three separate cases of children have shown that, when swallowed in high quantities, gum can become an obstruction in the stomach. Number 4. Sitting too close to the television will ruin your vision. Though the history of this myth is laden with truth, anybody that claims it after the 1950s is spouting falsities. Pre-1950s, televisions emitted levels of radiation that could do permanent damage to the eyes. Since then, though, televisions are harmless devices when it comes to vision. 
The only detriment a television set may cause is fatigue or strain, two side effects easily fixed by taking a break and resting one's eyes. Number three, hydrogen peroxide helps heal wounds. Ooh, this will surely irk those that have withstood the pain of pouring peroxide on an open wound. But the age-old method of cleansing wounds with the bubbling liquid is actually doing more harm than good. A study published in 1987 in the Journal of Family Practice tested peroxide and bacitracin on groups of volunteers with infected blister wounds. The end result showed that the simple bacitracin was leagues more effective than hydrogen peroxide, with the peroxide doing nothing to hinder bacterial growth. Number two, goldfish have a memory span of three seconds. They may be cheap pets, but that doesn't mean the goldfish is without any form of intelligence. Though once thought to have a three-second memory, the goldfish has since been proven to be able to retain information as any sentient being can. A 15-year-old student at the Australian Science and Mathematics School put the myth to rest when he conducted an experiment reminiscent of Pavlov's dogs, his substitute for the bell being a red Lego that he would lay in the tank before feeding the fish. Over time, the fish came to recognize the Lego as a sign of food, even after a week of not being fed in this manner. Number 1. Walt Disney Was Cryogenically Frozen The man may have been a fiend for technology and innovation, but that doesn't help breed truth into the popular belief that Walt Disney was cryogenically frozen. In life, Disney was a private individual, keeping many details of his life a secret from the public eye. It could be said, then, that this is how he would want his afterlife to be like as well. When his funeral and burial arrangements were kept a secret from the public, many turned to the idea that the great entrepreneur and animator had himself frozen until a time when technology could cure his lung cancer. The myth was popularized because his death came just four years after the art of cryonics came into play. Today, Disney's grave can be found at Forest Lawn Memorial Park in Glendale, California. Or can it be? Like these top 10 videos? Subscribe by clicking the annotation here and give our video a like. Have an idea for a future top 10? Leave a comment in the section below.